Hey y'all, it's Nancy here and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about whether or not is Instacart worth it in 2024. Before I get to this video, please just go ahead and make sure you subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up at the end of the video. Let's get right into it. So to answer the question, the title of this video, is Instacart still worth it in 2024? I do believe that Instacart, yes, is still worth it. However, I wouldn't say that it's worth doing full time. I don't believe that Instacart is worth doing full time in 2024, just because there are other ways to make money that don't require you to put so much wear and tear on your car, don't require you to you know, spend so much time getting in and out of stores and things of that nature. So I definitely believe that, that Instacart is something to really do for you know a side hustle. If you can invest 20 hours a week into Instacart, you know, maybe 25 or something like that, then yeah, I do believe that it's, you know, great for extra money and fast money. So if you need money very quickly, then yeah, Instacart is going to be really good. There are times where, you know, it will be hard for you, even when you're just doing Instacart part-time, it'll be hard for you to, you know, really make the goals that you want to make because it's just a level of uncertainty that goes into it. You don't know how many orders you're going to see that day. You don't know how many high paying orders you're going to see that day. So it's a level of uncertainty that goes into it. However, you just have to keep a positive mindset and knowing the best times to go and shop, knowing where exactly to go and shop. These are all going to, you know, make it more worthwhile for you. You get to make money on your own time. I think that's the biggest thing people are looking for in today's climate in the workforce people are trying to make money on their own time people want to be able to get up and go and do what they got to do on their own time not have to adhere by someone else's schedule that's what makes instacart so appealing not just instacart but other gig apps it makes it so appealing because you get to work on your own time you get to be your own boss in 2024 with everything going up these prices going up everything going up i don't think it's wise to solely rely on instacart because it's unpredictable just i also want to put this out there as well because i know i made a video like this in 2023 where i talked about how i feel like instacart was worth it before the lower batch pay now of course i'm honestly aware about the, the batch pay discrepancies and things of that nature and if you're somebody who's already doing instacart comment below what you think do you agree with my sentiment that i feel like instacart is worth it however i don't feel like it's worth it to do full time Cause that's how I feel, right? I, I say like in 2020, 2021, it was easy for people to do Instacart full time. I didn't get on Instacart to 2022, right? But I feel like in that time it was still pretty good, you know? And so I've had to scale back how much time I, I put into Instacart. With the lower batch pay, honestly, I think Instacart modified that because I don't even see a lot of batches for like $5, $6, $7 anymore. A lot of batches that I see are for like $8 or more in my area, from what I see. There are $8 and more. So I, I believe Instacart did modify that. Also, Instacart is doing a ton of promos, like a ton. I'm not sure if it's because I spoke about promos. I don't know, right? But they're doing a lot of promos. So if you're not able to see those and maybe try to go in your settings or reach out to an Instacart support member, there was one girl who did Instacart out here and she said she never saw promos. And I'm like, girl, we always have promos out here. So maybe it's your settings. And she said she had moved, she moved recently from California. So maybe she still had her studies from California. I don't know. But I just sort of reached out to Instacart support. It's how are you going on the app and how are you utilizing it? Because that's really what's going to determine your experience. So what do you think? Do you feel like Instacart is worth it in 2024? Do you? Comment below and let me know. I also want to talk about like batch availability and how I feel like Instacart is expanding. Instacart is growing. It is. There are people that have had some bad experiences with Instacart, but Instacart is growing. And a lot of people who don't even, who didn't even know it, there are people who didn't even know what Instacart was last year. So like they're still advertising, they're still marketing to new areas. They're still marketing to get into new stores, to get shoppers to go into new stores. Like Instacart, whether or not you can see it, is actually growing. Now, is it going to be as in demand as it was during COVID? Of course not, because people have now have access to go as they please and go where they want, do their own shopping. So, of course, it's not going to have the same demand as it did, you know, during COVID. However, Instacart is actually still growing. They are taking people off of the wait list. Um, there are batches becoming available. Now, the quality of those batches is very suspect. That's where you have to kind of come in and be like, I don't know. So, is it worth it? You know, it's kind of... When it comes to batch availability, when it comes to batch rating fairness, when it comes to 
um batch pay all these different things would you say it's worth it honestly i'm gonna have to go like this because it just varies if if you told me I, all i gotta do is get on the app deliver some groceries and i can make 150 dollars in six hours whatever why not <laughs> why not like why wouldn't i do that you know so you gotta just factor in and when also when it comes to rating fairness because i know a lot of shoppers do not like this aspect of how they are rated by the customers that's also another thing because once your rating gets below 4.7 then you have less access to batches and people might not feel like it's worth it because you don't see the really good batches so again there's just so many factors that go into it is it worth it well yeah if you're a diamond cart shopper <laughs> is it worth it well yeah if you live in an area that has a lot of people who you know are ordering instacart and can tip very high is it worth it? Yeah, if you have a cost-effective car that's not super old and beat up and it's always in a repair shop, but it's like, you know, it's reliable. 20, 20 bucks can fill up your whole tank and then you can make 150 that day. You know, these are questions you have to ask yourself. You know, is it worth it? Well, yeah, if you're seeing batch pays of over $10 for every single order that you're seeing come in. These are questions you have to ask yourself. And I think it's all relative to compared to where you live. That's what I believe because I will see some people and they'll be showing batches of like, I don't know, just like really excessive amounts. And I'm like, we don't see those here. So it just depends on where you live. And honestly, Instacart, for me, I would say that I used to really, really love it i just said that i hate it now but it's not the same it's not the same and there's still some money on there but it's not the same as when i first started so i mean whatever stays the same though <laughs> isn't life all about change it's just how about it's how you adapt to it so my adaptation could be to stay on instacart and just do it when i have free time and i don't you know just want to and i have free time and i want to go do something to make some extra money or I could just completely get off of it so it's it's all how you adapt to situations in life you know being able to be fluid and flow and stuff like that that's really really important so for me that answers the question the title of the video and I do know that I have a quite large following on my channel who watches my Instacart videos so what are your thoughts on this like it's like all right let me go grab my keys and do some Instacart today or are you just like nah um, it's not worth it. You know what I mean? Or do you, are you just like, okay, well, yeah, I'll do Instacart for like once or twice a week. So where are you at on the Instacart spectrum? You guys know I appreciate all of you guys so, 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 so much. I definitely try to respond to all the comments that I get in a timely manner. Stay tuned for more videos. I have a lot of videos on the way, y'all. I have so many videos I'm working on. Literally so many. When I tell you 2024 is the year I am not letting up. I am coming so hard with this content, like, y'all go see. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate all of you guys so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!